Hi, I'm Olivia Jagus and I'm a professional harpist. I freelance with different orchestras, play at lots of kinds of events, and I am based in London. The first one was playing at Wimbledon Tennis Championships for Guests of the Royal Box. And it was the first year I played there, it was 2013, and Andy Murray won. And I snuck into the box and got to watch it from there. So yeah, that was fun. Second one was playing at Wigmore Hall. I was an usher there for maybe at least six years, I think, while I was studying and afterwards. So anything to do with Wigmore Hall is a highlight. And then the third one is I was recently given an award for my online concerts called Harpy Hour from the Royal Philharmonic Society. My first musical memory would probably be jamming with my best music buddy, Jenny Plant. We used to make up songs at the piano, pop songs, or we'd sing some ABBA songs at the piano, but basically messing around, making up our own tunes. I'm going with today, Mitsuko Uchida, the pianist. I turned pages for her when I was working at Wigmore Hall and she was playing, she was accompanying some Mahler songs and every note she played as it was in the original orchestration. So even the harp notes, she played like a harp. And then afterwards I said to her, she played every harp note, just like a harp. And she said, but of course, I studied the score. I went to see Jacob Collier at Brighton Dome last week, and that was very inspiring. I would say celebrate your strengths and you can do it, keep going. every time <laughs> to different degrees to varying degrees sometimes not so much maybe just a teeny tiny bit and other times big time but you learn to control the nerves I like to think about as if I was a deep sea diver and I'm trying to control my breath and lower my heart rate something I find really helpful when I'm feeling nervous is to remember it's not about me it's about the music so all I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to present the music someone else's music it's not my music I didn't write it so I'm just presenting the music so taking it away from worrying about what people think about you I make sure I write everything down. I'm a paper diary person. Little tricks I have, if I've got something big coming up, I write down four weeks to go, three weeks to go, two weeks to go in the diary so I know when it's coming up. Some other things I do sometimes, I do a little sort of tick list. So I sort of write like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then write my piece and then choop, 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 and try and get lots of ticks. Get your phone out of the room and put it on flight mode or turn it off. I'll watch Love Island, baby. It is what it is. I once won my school music competition and I can't remember who was adjudicating but they said when you're performing you need to imagine you're you've got to draw a magic circle around you and you want to bring the audience into your circle and that is something I always try and think about.
I would say go listen to Messian's Tarangalila Symphony because it is huge and you're sure to find something in there that's inspiring.